there are some rhyming words in parasitology. We will go to the differences between these pairs of words. So first one are zoonosis and anthroponosis. Zoonosis are infections which are transferred from animals to man whereas anthroponosis are infections which are transferred from man to animals. Zoonosis are diseases transferred from animals to man and anthroponosis are diseases transferred from humans to animals. So first we will go to the examples of zoonosis. The first one is bovine tuberculosis which is caused by a bacterium mycobacterium bovis and that is usually transmitted from cattle through airborne transmission, consumption of unpasteurized milk direct contact with the infected cattle or untreated animal products. The second one is brucellosis which is caused by a gram negative cocobacillus and that is also transmitted from animals like cattle, sheep, goats, pigs and camels through direct contact with the blood, placenta, fetuses or uterine secretions or through the consumption of contaminated raw animal products. The third example of a zoonosis is hydatidosis which is caused by the bacterium Echinococcus granulosis and it is spread by contact with animal feces contaminated with tapeworm eggs because there are animals infected with tapeworms. Example is the uh, dog tapeworm. So when uh, the humans come in contact with the uh, dog feces contaminated with tapeworm eggs they can get the infection. So that is also an example of a, a zoonotic disease. Next is ringworm infection which is caused by a fungus which belongs to the genus Dermatophytosis and uh, this is spread from dogs, cats etc. by touching the infected animal. Next one is Toxocariasis. Toxocariasis is caused by a nematode Toxocara canis and adult humans and children can become infected by accidentally swallowing dirt which has been contaminated with dog or cat feces that contain infectious Toxocara eggs because the infected dogs or cats when they pass out feces it will contain the Toxocara eggs and if uh, there occurs an accidental um, swallowing of uh, uh, such contaminated dirt uh, that leads to Toxocariasis in humans. The next disease is a protozoan disease caused by the protozoan Toxoplasma gondii and the condition is called as Toxoplasmosis and uh, this is spread to humans by ingesting uncooked meat which is containing viable tissue cysts or by ingesting food or water contaminated with oozes from the feces of infected cats. So this is spread from cats to humans either spread by ingesting the uncooked meat which is containing the viable tissue cysts of the parasite or by ingesting the food or water contaminated with uh, cat feces which contain the oozes of toxoplasma. Next is leptospirosis which is caused by a spirochetes pro, uh, prokaryote and uh, that is spread through the urine of infected animals like rodents, dogs, cat, cattle, pigs etc. And one is rabies which is uh, caused by virus and it is spread to humans through the bites of rabid dogs. There are more than 150 types of zoonosis and these are some of the examples. Now we will go to anthroponosis that is diseases transmitted from humans to animals. The first one is chytridiomycosis which is caused by fungi and that can be transmitted from bare handed humans which are infected to frogs. Next is measles which is again a viral disease that can be spread from humans to primates. Pneumonia the bacterial disease that can be spread from humans to primates and Leishmaniasis the protozoan disease caused by Leishmania uh, it can also be transmitted to primates. So these are the differences between zoonosis and anthroponosis. Now we will go to two other terms which we use in parasitology that is infection and infestation. So what is infection? Infection is the invasion of a horse internal environment by endoparasites 
and their subsequent establishment and survival the. On the other hand, infestation is the invasion of a host superficial tissues by ectoparasites for establishment and survival. Usually, infection is caused by microorganisms such as protozoa, fungi, bacteria, viruses, etc. Whereas, infestation is usually caused by insects, worms, etc. They are caused by the invasion of complex organisms such as insects and worms. And during infection, the microorganisms enter the tissues of the host and multiply there, thereby arresting the normal physiology of the cells. During infestation, the insects or worms, they reproduce on the surface of the host or inside the lumens of uh, the various uh, tracts inside the body that is the digestive tract, the respiratory tract or the reproductive tract. So, that is the difference between infection and infestation. Now, we will go to the difference between two terms auto-infection and hyper-infection. Auto-infection is the infection of a primary host with a parasite particularly a helminth worm in such a way that the complete life cycle of the parasite happens in a single organism without the involvement of another host. The best example that can be provided for auto infection is that by pinworm. So the adult pinworms they live in human di uh, digestive tract and there they undergo mating and the female becomes filled with fertilized eggs. Now, these females they move to the anal region of the human being and they reside in the perianal area leading to itching. So, this, uh, this leads to scratching by the infected human. So, when he scratches his perianal area, this will cause pressing of the females or crushing of the females thereby releasing her eggs and these eggs they can get over to uh, the uh, person's fingers or nails because of his scratching behavior and this can also get onto the bed sheets or the clothings used by this person and they can contaminate himself or other persons. So, suppose he scratches uh, his anal area using his fingers and uh, suppose without washing hands he is taking food. So, these eggs through food they will reach his body again. So, that is what is meant by auto infection and pinworm infection is an example. Hyper infection is a condition where there is parasitic reinfection in, a ho in which a host that harbors a parasite gets infected by the same species of parasite due to immunological deficiency or other reasons. Uh, this can be considered to be an accelerated auto infection. So, when auto infection is a type of infection, hyper infection is a condition that results from accelerated auto infection uh, and it will lead to syndromes. Example is uh, when a person is reinfected by the nematode strong hyaloids, he develops certain symptoms uh, or um, together. Uh, aggravating symptoms which can be called as hyper infection syndrome. So, when auto infection is a mode of transmitting the parasite, hyper infection is a condition that results from parasitic reinfection.